Hello everyone! Today's nail art is a hot air balloon. Don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy this video! You will need a thin brush, a medium acrylic brush, or a big acrylic brush. I like to use all three. Gel top coat, sky blue nail polish, light brown nail polish, white nail polish, liquid monomer, white acrylic powder, clear acrylic powder, pink, green, red, yellow, and purple acrylic powder. You can use whatever balloon colors you want. And something that has tiny holes like this for the basket of the hot air balloon. Products I am using are linked in the description below. Even though this is a simple design and great for beginners, if this is your first time with acrylic, check out my Easy Acrylic Nails for Beginners tutorial linked in the description below. With white acrylic, make a teardrop shape for the hot air balloon like so. I prefer you use drier beads of acrylic so the shape of the bead stays. I made this layer thin because the whole white part will be covered with colors, so do not spend too much time perfecting the middle. We just want the shape of the balloon. The wider you make the balloon, the more colors you can fit. Once you're happy with your shape and after it dries, start applying color. I prefer starting applying the color from the left to the right of the balloon. Put a curved banana shaped pink acrylic on top of the very left edge of the white balloon like so. Make sure the pink covers the white from the top of the balloon to the bottom. I prefer the color to be slightly thinner at the top and at the bottom of the balloon. Once you are happy with the first color, you can move on to the green and place it right beside the pink. Do the exact same thing with the green, but make sure you remove any green beads that run on to the pink for a more precise look. It's alright if the colors are not perfectly placed onto the balloon because what I like to do is go back after placing all the colors and add extra if needed. Also, it's okay if some of the other colors bleed onto the white part because you are going to cover them up with the following color anyway. Now we are going to take hot red and since this is my middle color of the balloon, I am going to make an oval shape with points on the top and bottom of the balloon like so. It's really hard to explain this shape, so please just look at the shape that I'm making. We are making the middle color, red in my case, bigger in order for the balloon to have a spherical 3D effect like a real balloon. Once you are happy with the red, move on to your next color. And I chose yellow, and these last two colors will be the banana shape that we did for the first two colors, but flipped vertically, like so. I think the yellow one turned out great. Do the same with the purple as you did with the yellow. So now I am just looking to fix any part of the balloon that may need extra color or a more defined curved shape. Once you are satisfied, you can use regular sky blue nail polish around the balloon. This is great if you need to cover up acrylic that fell off the balloon. Also, if you just did the blue background with regular nail polish before the balloon, the liquid monomer would eat it up, so I just want to make things easy. Of course, if you have acrylic blue powder, then you can use that too, but I prefer to put more energy in the balloon than in the background, so I made it easy. Wow, now it's looking like we're close to finishing! With brown nail polish on a thin brush, draw two lines for the ropes and draw a box on the bottom for the basket. Now with clear acrylic, create a rectangle shape on some wax paper or a plastic bag. Also, you can just do this on the nail, but you might have to repaint blue again because the monomer will remove the nail polish. Not a big deal, but just in order not to redo work. Just before the rectangle dries, press the mesh with holes into the rectangle or basket slowly to create the basket lines. Alternatively, you could just use a thin brush to press and draw lines on the basket. It's really hard to see on camera, I tried to zoom in for a better view. Anyway, once it dries, it will look somewhat like this. And you can use the brush again to make the edges straight again in case they were smushed. It should snap right off and then you can place it onto the brown box you drew. You can also make the ropes 3D by adding acrylic on top if you prefer. 
For clouds, I put a little bit of white nail polish on a sponge and dabbed some on the edges of the nail. Here is another balloon I did previously, just to show you that with darker brown polish, I drew on the lines for the basket. This basket is another one only for filming purposes because the one I'm working on did not show up on camera very well, but in real life it looks awesome. You can file the final design for a smoother, more professional looking finish. I didn't and I still love the look, so it's up to you. Put a good quality gel top coat for shine and admire your masterpiece. Wow, I love it! Please subscribe, share, like and comment on this video if you learned something. Feel free to check out my other videos. Thank you so much for watching.